Howdy, this is Mackenzie Franklin from Side Game LLC here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Today we're going to be taking a look at Obsession and how in our library it's stored in order to get gameplay started as soon as possible. Without further ado, let's begin. So first off, you need to notice with Obsession, we include the Upstairs Downstairs expansion. And to do this, we actually take the top of that box here and we're going to put it on the bottom here just to give a little bit of extra lift to the box itself, but to have no kind of sliding. So it's really nice, it's a thick box, so it keeps it nice and snug. We'll go ahead and lift the top off here. And because we've got that extra room, we have a couple of things that we can put on top here. First things, we have the rule books, all the various rule books. We've got the board. We've got some player aids for all the different workers. Score pad. Rule book. Another board here, this is the one for the builder's market. We've got another board here. Upstairs, downstairs book. We've got some more score pads, including some laminated ones, just in case these run out. We've got all of the different family private boards. So these are for all of your individual players. So you got the double-sided ones, all their different abilities. You've got this nice estate improvement boards that you can use if you'd like. And then on the right side here, we have a well that we use. Now you could do this in multiple ways. You could use something like a, a BCW white box and have that here. You could just simply put them in a bag, but we have this kind of plastic riser here. That way we're able to keep everything nice here and make sure nothing's in a bag or a box or anything. That way it's just easy to grab. On this side, we've got the different tiles. So these are for all the monuments. We've got a silica gel packet just so that we can make sure everything's dry. We've got all these different cards here. So we have the different, I forget what these are called, but what the Fairchilds are going after. We've got the objective cards, and then we've got the victory point cards as well. After that, separated into waves, you've got the Fairchilds themselves. You've got the reference cards. You've got the guest cards and all of the promo cards, as well as the objective tiles in case you don't want to play with the upstairs-downstairs expansion. And then you also have the solo numbers in case you're using those in the back there. So all the cards and all the additional tiles are going to be here that you are going to be seeding in every game. But the main tiles are going to be in this bag on this side, and that uses the obsession bag that comes with it. So you've got all the tiles in here. In this bag here, we've got all of the follower meeples. So I'll kind of just put this here so you can see what's inside. So you've got all the different follower meeples, as well as the pawn for movement, as well as the random die, and the other pawn for tracking. So you got all that stuff here. We've got two Dollar Tree containers here. These containers, you can get 10 for a dollar at Dollar Tree. We're using the Nanty Narkeen metal coins, but these are solid. You simply pop them open, put the base underneath, place it on the table, and you now have a tray that's easy to grab things, throw things in. It's nice. It doesn't have a, um, you don't have to put it in something else. It's ready to go as soon as you open it. So I really like these containers for small bits of components. So these are great. And then on the left side, you can see here, we've got the different families boxes, including the Wessex expansion. So you've got all the different families here in their own private little boxes. I'm not gonna open up all of them because they're all pretty much the same, but each character has their own special ability. So let's take a look at just one as an example, the Ponsonby family. So we've got the Ponsonbys here, we open them up. You've got all of the starting cards, all your starting cards marked by your little Ponsonby family symbol here. You've got your starting tiles, so you'll use these every game. And then you've got your starting servants, as well as any additional tokens, your influence markers, your objective markers, anything that you could possibly think to keep for a player will go in that player's box. So you simply give them the box they want to use and they're ready to start. So really enjoy these little boxes. I think they are great. 
And if you have a family that has additional components, then make sure to put those in there as well. So for example, if you have a character with an extra card, like um, the, the Asquiths have an extra card, you can simply just throw that in there. Some start with cooks, some start with extra servants, extra money. You can just throw that in there as well. So that's how we organize things here. Now let's go ahead and put it away. So first off, we've got the different family boxes are all gonna go in here. You've got the coins are gonna slide in on the side like this. Take me a second really quick to just put away these workers. Do I add this to my time on how long it's taking me to put this away? Oh no, party fell. So we've got all these guys. Go ahead and put them back in. All right, cinch that up. It's gonna go right here. And then on the left side, we are gonna go ahead and put the tiles. And when you put them down, you can kind of pat this, the bag a little bit. That way some of the tiles move so it becomes a bit more flat. That way you don't have bulges on either side. It fits nicely. Take the player pieces here, your player boards, put them on top of those. Scoreboard, or score, I should say, scoring sheets. You've got the boards and the rule books and everything else that's basically flat that you might use to reference on top, as well as the extra board and promo and expansion rules. And with that, Obsession is organized. We are ready to go. This thing is ready to be played as fast as possible. If you have any questions about my organization method, if you have any improvements or suggestions or comments, please put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. Side Game Strong.